Buzz Aldrin, hello and, and welcome to Europol TV. In 1969, the challenge was clearly to be the first on the moon and it was a competition against the Soviets. Uh, how would you describe the challenge today uh, to be the first on Mars? To use the talents that we've learned before they die off and then we start them over again. That's, that's not a very intelligent progress. To take what we've learned, use that to begin to extend humans outward. We can do that now. So there's no more competition, you mean, in the world to be the first on Mars? Somebody's going to be first, okay? I happen to believe that the United States will do it. But not if we go back and land people on the moon again, as we did, getting there 50 years after we had first done it. Robots have improved tremendously. Nations will want to send their humans to the moon for prestige, for the support of their people, for demonstration to other nations how they have progressed. That's why we went to the moon, that's why the Soviets wanted to go to the moon, to demonstrate to their people. And we spur on the technical developments as we do these things that are progress of humanity. Now, we went to the moon and we came back. What do we have to show for it? We, we have a lot of rocks. When we go to Mars, what we'll have to show for it is a building settlement. Much better place to build a settlement than on the rather barren, desolate moon. We can leave that to other nations if they choose to do that. But a much better place is Mars. You talked about the, the budgets. Clearly today, Europe and also the United States of America have other questions than going on Mars. There is no more money available. Uh, what would you say to politicians uh, who have to decide which way to go now? Obviously, we need to get our house in order. I'm a spaceman. And, and I want to try and do things in space efficiently. Uh, I don't think you want me to advise how we get our fiscal house in order, but we do need to do that because we're focused on short-term objectives, usually political short-term. Let me give you this and you give me your votes. Okay? And if we continue to operate like that, as a race, we will not progress. We will sink into despair. Today you talked about the U.S. leadership. Is there any, any room for uh, U.S.-EU collaboration? Do you see something of course, really of course. happening? You're yes. here too? And we would like for you to come on board just the way uh, we did with the International Space Station. There are a lot of opportunities uh, at the moon. We will help you with our experience. But don't ask us to invest again what we did in the 60s and 70s. We did that once, and it's available. We'll help you in, in other countries. The first problem today for young people is to find a job. What would you say? Get busy doing something that challenges you and gives you the satisfaction that's what I've been able to do in my life. And, and I've had depressive times in my life as an individual. Right? Nations have depressed times as our country does, as other countries. You have to get busy doing something and show some progress that makes you feel good. Do countries who are coming apart that need a bailout, do they feel good? No. Let's get to work and start doing something. Maybe your political, political system is not quite right. Maybe you need to make some changes. Maybe we do. Thank you.